Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom here from sbrpicks.com. William Hill's in play radio host Lee Phelps joins us now to break down the lowest scoring team in the Premier League and whether that will be a good indicator as to who will be relegated at the end of the season. Lee, thanks for joining us today. Look, it feels quite bad talking about teams who don't score goals. It's like anti football, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. I was, you know, I was going to say, well, this award, and that's if you want to call it that. <laughs> you know, right now, it's, it, you know, it's being firmly held by Aston Villa, who've only mm. scored 15 all season, uh, with only 11 scored at home and four on the road. Very low. Uh, second lowest scorer is Sunderland, uh, with 23 goals to date, 12 at home and 11 on the road. But interestingly, though, neither of those two teams are in the, in the relegation area right now. Clearly, goal scoring isn't everything. Do you agree? No, I think defending is probably everything. I mean, I've looked through the last decade of, um, of, of Premier League tables to see who stayed up and who didn't. Now, generally, if you do score fewer goals, it probably means that you're not quite that good, you know, and you're going to leak the goals at the back as well. So it's no surprise to me that uh, in eight out, of, sorry, seven out of the last ten seasons, uh, the team who've scored least goals have been relegated. No surprise. But, you know, you look at a team like Aston Villa, and, and a lot's been made of their lack of goals. And, I mean, I still... You just said it, and I've been looking at it all week. Four goals away from home. Four goals! I mean, that's unbelievable, isn't it? But they are quite good defensively as well, Aston Villa, so they've got a chance of getting out of trouble. It's the teams who don't score goals and leak a lot at the back. They're the ones you've got to be worried about. Burnley are a good example of that, I think. Leicester, good example of that. They don't score enough, but they do concede too many. So, I mean, Sunderland... Not so bad. You know, they had a lot of draws this season. So I think the, the, the worst recipe possible is to be goal shy and uh, poor at the back. Yeah, exactly. Poor all round, I think. Um, <laughs> which three teams will be relegated to the championship next season? Um, and can you predict the order? Yeah, good question. <laughs> um, you'd think so by now. You know, we're, we're into March, aren't we? You'd think we'd have a pretty clear idea, but it's still wide open. There's so many teams who are capable of getting out of trouble or not. Um, interesting thing as well is I was talking to um, former Premier League footballer Robbie Savage this week, and he said that he thinks 33 points will be the, the, the points total you need to attain for safety. Mm -hmm. Bearing in mind, the average over the last decade is, is 36. Um, so, you know, it, it's quite low this season. Now, if that's the case, then, you know, some teams have got great chances here. I think Leicester are really going to struggle. Mm -hmm. I don't see how they're going to suddenly transform their form into something that re resembles pure wins. You know, they, they're in this list of low scorers, of course. Um, I think, you know, they've got the likes of Swansea, they've got West Ham, um, they've got Chelsea to play yet, they've got Burnley and Sunderland. So, you know, some of those teams are in the same predicament. They just haven't been winning games, Leicester. It's been a hard luck story all season. So I think, I think Leicester will be the ones who struggle. Um, I think Burnley have had their purple patch, to be honest with you. I think the fact that they've had their good spell means that I don't think they've got an awful lot left. Second worst away goals record in the division. Um, you know, they've got a decent home record, and that's where they've picked up most of their points. But when I mean, you look at you've got Manchester City, Arsenal and Tottenham to come to their stadium yet, if that's where their best form is, it's unlikely they'll pick up much more than maybe a point out of those three, if a point. So I think Burnley will go as well, just because I don't think they can do well enough away from home. Um, and I think QPR as well, unfortunately. I mean, we've talked about QPR in the past and how, how their home form in the first half of the season was what kept them going. They've got a tremendously difficult home run and they don't do enough away from home. Played quite well against Arsenal the other day, but didn't get, they lost the game. Tottenham this weekend, you could see them probably playing quite well and not winning the game. And even a draw wouldn't be enough for me. So I'm going to go Leicester to finish bottom, then Burnley, and then QPR. But it could be any of those, in, in any order, to be honest with you. But I think Leicester are probably the value bet to finish bottom at the moment. OK, so Leicester to finish bottom there. Uh, will you have the, the, those are the three favourite there uh, to be relegated. Yeah. And that's, that comes in at three, about 365. Uh, pretty good odds. Um, would you suggest taking the bet? Yeah, I do like that. I mean, I'm, I must admit, it's, you know, it's, it's no surprise, is it? You know, the th three teams who came up. I just think that at this stage of the season that um, I was quite keen on Aston Villa to go down, but mm -hmm. I think maybe they're just going to have enough. You know, we saw the other night they got that last-minute penalty, which was huge, two extra points. I think they'll just have enough with a new manager, just giving them enough drive and enthusiasm to get them over the line. Sunderland are one that I could... If someone argued really strongly, I could kind of see Sunderland in the bottom three. 
because Gus Poya, the manager, is having all sorts of problems at the moment with the fans, and they're not scoring enough goals, as we've seen from the, the article that we've done on the lowest scorers in the division. So Sunderland maybe, but I'll just go with Leicester, Burnley, QPR. Okay, fantastic. That's three at Bet365. Lee Phelps, thank you for joining us today. No problem.